Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. You're watching one of our miniature episodes, which always happen Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, where we talk to you about a couple of future tech stories. And then on Thursday, we have a long episode that's about 45 minutes long, where we welcome a guest and talk about our favorite stories of the week. So let's hit some headlines. There's a dual asteroid system near our planet called Didymus, and the European Space Agency is using a robotic arm to test landings right here on Earth. The idea here is to send a relatively autonomous spacecraft towards Didymus and get it close enough to land an instrument package on one of the asteroid surfaces without damaging that delivery. The ESA recently tested this idea using a model asteroid, a robotic arm, and an actual navigation camera used in spacecraft. The robotic arm played the part of the spacecraft and approached the model asteroid the way the ESA believes a real one would, while the camera tracked the asteroid's landmarks and movement, helping the spacecraft or the robotic arm, adjust as needed for approach. If they get approval, the Asteroid Impact and Deflection Assessment mission will launch in 2020 and hopefully land on an asteroid by 2022. Get out your permission slips for this next story because we're gonna take a feels trip. My hero this week is named Vincent. Vincent is a cat with some special new prosthetics. But there's more to it than just being an adorable feline with some peg legs. Dr. Mary Sarah Berg is an associate professor of orthopedic surgery at Iowa State University's Veterinary Medical Center, and she wanted to help out Vincent with some high-tech legs. He was born without his back legs, and Berg worked with a 3D printing company to create special titanium peg legs for the little cute furball. Even better, these aren't just attachable prosthetics like we're used to seeing. They're actually attached inside his upper leg bones, and over time, they will fuse to those pegs. This means he's now our favorite bionic cat of all time. I love him. That's it for our headlines. Let's take a look at one of your great photos. This photo is from Paul, and he wrote to us and said, Hi, Ashley and Jeff. Thought you may like this photo I took on my Samsung Galaxy Note 4. I took it whilst in Spain on my wife's birthday. It's in the Torremolinos Botanical Gardens. We both loved the gardens as a whole, but felt this was a true area of zen peacefulness. Hope you guys like it, and it works for you as it did for us. You have my permission to use the photo and spread peace and relaxed videos across the known universe. Enjoy, Paul. Paul, thank you so much for that picture. And in fact, I do feel more zen-like. I'm gonna go outside today for lunch and sketch in the gardens, if I can find some gardens. Uh, if you guys wanna send in your photography for a photographer of the day, feel free to email us tomorrow at cnet.com. Uh, give us permission to use your picture in the show. And of course, tell us a little bit about your photo. Uh, if you wanna find us on social media, we're all over the internet at these places. You can find us on Twitter as individuals and as a show just right here. Uh, that is it for today's show. We will be back tomorrow with a brand new docket in our long show of weird science fact meeting science fiction. And we're going to have special guest Jessica Chobot from Nerdist on the show talking about uh, Japanese candy and maybe some other stuff. So uh, we will see you tomorrow. But until then, be good humans. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh.